Now we're going to look at another anti-differentiation problem. We're going to do the reverse chain rule. We know when we take a function to a power, we add one and, uh, and uh, you, you bring it out front, subtract one from the top, and you end up with f prime here. So when we take the antiderivative uh, of, of f to the n, we have to have f prime here. And when we get the antiderivative, this f prime disappears. Notice if you take the derivative, it will reappear. So we're going to use a rule here, and we're going to look at this. This is a general power rule, the reverse of the general power rule, okay? And I look at this, and I say, well, I've got f of x, this 4x minus 2 to the 10th power, um, and I need this f prime in order to do it. And f prime is 4. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I, I, I just can't put a 4 in there, but I can do this. I can put a 4 in if I multiply it by 1 4th. And the reason is, of course, 4 times 1 fourth is just 1. Uh, oh, sorry, this is to the 10th power, isn't it? I've almost got what I want. Now, I can factor a constant out. I'm only going to factor one of them, 1 fourth times the antiderivative of 4x plus 1 to the 10th power times 4 dx. Now, I've got what I want with this integral. Okay, I've got uh, a function to a power times the function's derivative. That means I can just go right to the function, to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And this 4 will disappear. So I'll end up with 4x plus 1 to the 11th power over 11 plus constant. So I kind of tricked the function, didn't I? I said, well, there's no 4 there, but I'm going to put a 4 in there times 1 fourth, and that's 1, and factor out the 1 fourth. And I just forgot my 1 fourth, didn't I? I, can't, I have to have 1 fourth here, and that would give me 44 on the bottom if I wanted to simplify. You can't leave this off. See, I almost did it, didn't I? I almost left it off, but in the end I said, uh-oh, I went back and looked, and I said, no, I need this. So what I did was, I, all I did was just, I needed a 4 there, so I put 4 and 1 fourth, which is just 1. I factored out the 1 fourth. This doesn't go away. Of course, this one does, because when you take the derivative, it comes back. Let me do another uh, one real quick. Same kind of thing. Only this time, I'm going to take the antiderivative of, say, 4 minus 2x to the 17th power times 5, okay, dx. Now, I've got a function to a power just like this. And I think, do I have f prime? Well, the derivative of this guy, of course, is just negative 2. I've got the wrong constant. And what you do in that case is you factor the 5 out first, so you have a clean slate here. 17th power dx. Now, what I need is, and I don't want to forget my constants. I have to think constantly. Did I, put, did I leave anything out? 2x, okay, to the 17th power. I don't want to forget my power. I need a negative 2 here, so I'm going to put a negative 2 in here. I'm going to put a negative 1 half. And in this case, I've done nothing but put 1 in there, 1 times that. Now I'm going to factor out the negative 1 half, and I'm going to end up with the antiderivative. hope I have enough room here. Of negative five, I have negative 5 halves on the outside, negative 5 over 2 there, but I've got 4 minus 2x times negative 2. Can you see that? Negative 2 dx. I'll kind of squeeze it in there. Now I've got a function times function prime plus this outside coefficient, which is going to be multiplied. Oh, and of course, this is to the 17th power, isn't it? Okay. So I simply go directly. Let me see if I've got enough room here. I'll look down here. I got Yeah, i got plenty of room. So I'll, I'll just, in fact, I can write this down here. Let me do it down here. It'll look better. Uh, negative 5 halves times the antiderivative of 4 minus 2x to the 17th power uh, times uh, negative 2. Notice I brought the negative 1 half out. 5 times negative 1 half is negative 5 halves dx. Now I've got what I want, right? And my answer is negative 5 halves, let's see if I can get it in, times uh, 4 minus 2x to the 18th power to the 18th power over 18, okay? And I could simplify that. I could multiply that. Uh, 2 to 60, I get 36, but uh, plus any constant I want to add, okay? I barely got my constant in there. 
So if you have the wrong, if you have one with a wrong f prime, just bring it outside and you do it exactly the same way.